to the show. There is nothing I love more than getting creative in the kitchen, especially if I can lend a hand. So when Caitlin wrote to us for help with dinner, she reached out, she's got a growing family, and I thought I'd pop by for a little visit. You know how you like to do? Just pop by. <laughs> in Janetville, Ontario, visiting Caitlin, and I am so excited. Caitlin reached out because she is looking for help in the kitchen. She's got two young kids, an almost four-year-old and a brand new adopted baby boy. So cute, and I'm here to just help them out. Let's go see what I'm making for dinner. Mary? Uh, yes, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. I'm so happy that Mary's arrived to help today. Thank you so much for having me. These are for you. These are beautiful things. Oh my gosh. gosh. Welcome to our home. It's a glorious house and I cannot wait to get into that kitchen. But I hear the kitchen isn't like your favorite place in the world. You know what? Pre-kids it was, okay. I will say. But now, like I'm home with both kids, okay. so busy day. And then when Ryan comes home, I want to have something that's not like a hot dog or a fried eggs all the time. Yep. Those things are delicious, but not like the... I love a hot dog. Oh, that's my favorite food, probably. Oh my gosh, we are think we're just best <laughs> friends now. <laughs> so yeah, looking for something that is delicious, easy, yep. and maybe just something new. And like quick. Quick would be the ideal. Yeah. And bonus points if I can do it like one hand. Okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> I wanna show Caitlin that being in the kitchen can be kind of relaxing, even after a long day, with like so much going on. Can we go into the kitchen? Let's do it. Amazing. Okay. Oh my gosh, perfect. <laughs> All right, pantry. Yeah, head over this way. Okay. Right here. Oh, what a nice tall pantry. Thank you. I know, I usually have a stool here so I can reach like the top shelf. Oh, very smart. <laughs> My plan today is I'm just gonna raid these pantries. Okay, what am I looking for? I feel like you like baking, right? I do. Okay, so I feel like something with baking powder. Okay. Definitely. I wanna go through and see what she's got to make something delicious with basically stuff that she already has. Cause nobody wants to have to go to the grocery store. Oh my gosh, you have good baking stuff. So in the pantry, I'm seeing perfect things for making up a super quick and easy flatbread. We've got a bunch of different types of flour, there's baking powder, baking soda, basically stuff that pretty much everybody has in their pantry right now. There's a nice spice <laughs> drawer. Okay, into the fridge. Yes. What are we looking for? Ooh, chicken thighs. So you guys are like chicken family? We are a chicken family. Perfect. <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna call it a thing. Chicken yeah. family, it's perfect. A good thing. Caitlin has some chicken thighs in her fridge, which is perfect. Really good to marinate. They are really nice and juicy. We're going like lightly Greek, but ish. And I'm feeling good about that. Cool. Now I'm gonna get you to zest some lemon. I can do that. Perfect. So just zest that straight on into the bowl. Okay. And that zest is gonna give you like you know, lemon flavor without yes. like citrusy, you know? And we do not want the pith. We don't want the pith. I watch a lot of cooking. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so basically I wanna make something that's really, really punchy. A little bit of mustard. So mustard's a great thing to put into a marinade or even a salad dressing. Okay. I'm gonna use some lemon, a ton of Dijon mustard, cause I love mustard. A Little bit of oil, salt, pepper, and then some of those dried spices. Cause I want this to get into that chicken in like 10 minutes flat. So I'm just gonna dump those chicken thighs right on into that marinade. And then I'm gonna give that a little bit of a mix up just to coat everything in that like delicious mustard. Yes. Smells amazing. I know, so I'm, I'm, not I'm, it. <laughs> I'm not that of you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna quickly wash my hands because cool. we got chicken hands. While those chicken thighs get marinating, we're gonna make a super quick flatbread. Super quick and easy one. So add in, um, we're gonna do enough for probably about six flatbreads. Okay. So if you wanna add in a cup of all-purpose sure. flour, and then we're also gonna do a cup of whole wheat. You can do it totally all with all-purpose. To be honest, I don't love doing all whole wheat because it kinda makes it tough. This is one of my favorite parts of cooking. We are doing multiple things at the same time. So I'm just gonna set that aside because I want that to rest just for a little bit. Okay. And that, that's perfect timing because that chicken's looking good. It is looking good. Perfect. That flatbread is resting. This chicken is perfectly marinated. You wanna grab that chicken bowl and those tongs? Yes. I'm gonna add a teeny bit of oil into this beautiful cast iron skillet. So now we've gotta sear it off. Yes. Yes. Gonna be smoky. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>. Yeah. <laughs> now, Caitlin is a cast iron connoisseur, and I'm very excited about that. I love cooking in a cast iron skillet. <laughs> so, right, cooking is all about rock and roll. That it is. Yeah. What do we call this, really? The Bon Jovi kitchen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
<laughs> you get such a good sear. And basically, when I'm searing these chicken thighs, I don't actually want to cook them all the way through. I'm just looking for beautiful color on the outside, and then we're going to finish cooking those in the oven. So now the oven is going to do the rest of the work, and we can basically ignore that. I completely understand when people are like, ugh, I don't have time to make dinner, I'm just gonna order a pizza. But for this recipe or vibe, you have so much time. It is so quick. That marinade takes all of 10 minutes, including the marination time. The chicken, sear it for one or two minutes aside, pop it into a 375 oven for like 18 minutes. While that's doing its thing, you're cooking flatbread. I think I did it. Oh my gosh. A, a perfect one the first like, time? perfect first time. <laughs> even good beginners long. I think you're just good at flatbread. So simple. Make a delicious dip. All right, let's give this a taste okay. right now. See if it needs anything. That's delicious. That's amazing. Is it good? Can we just, is this like the, that's it. Is this the salad? <laughs> <And> dinner's done. <laughs> yeah. Anytime I'm trying to make something delicious for a family, I'm always trying to think of like the three things I want on a plate. I want something a little starchy, I want something proteiny, and I want some vegetables on there. And to be honest, I always love a sauce. So if I can make a sauce, I'm going to. And then if you wouldn't mind just scattering some of those herbs sure. over top and popping those little lemon wedges just around. At the beginning, I felt nervous and intimidated, but at the end, I felt confident and excited and ready to take on some new recipes. I'm very proud of you. Do I get a gold star? You do. I love giving a gold star. <laughs> gold sticker. Amazing. I'm going to get to those dishes, and um, you have a good dinner. We will. Thank I'll, you. I'll sneak out. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm feeling so good about today. This was such a win, and I'm really excited to see what her family thinks, because Caitlin seems to like it, but um, feeding a four-year-old, which is terrifying. You ready to try some of the food that I made with Mary today? I made some chicken, some yummy dip, oh. and some flatbread. Thank you, Mary, so much. I appreciate all of your very helpful tips and easy suggestions. I think we're gonna be able to incorporate this. Yes, this food is delicious. Thank you very much for coming out and helping. You even um, got the preschooler to eat some vegetables, so. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> Mary, thanks for showing me the good stuff. Please welcome Caitlin and Ryan. Gosh, what a pleasure. Thank you for letting me crash your kitchen. You are oh, welcome. Oh, our pleasure. Anytime? Okay, yeah, thank you. Anytime. I appreciate it. Well, Caitlin, we basically threw that meal together, even with all of our chatting, yes. which was substantial, <laughs> in basically like 30-ish yes. minutes. Yes. And pretty much everything was from scratch. Yes. How, what was your like biggest takeaway from that? I think that cooking doesn't have to be stressful. Yeah. I get very like overwhelmed with recipes and feel like everything has to be perfect, mm -hmm. but being able to just wing it with stuff we have. Yeah. We actually yeah. made the chicken a couple <gasps> days ago and yeah. Lex ate all of it yeah. and she finished mine. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, we have photographic <laughs> evidence. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I think the thing is just being able to wing it, throw yeah. stuff in a bowl, yeah. really punch up a marinade. And even if you don't have all those ingredients, you can use salad dressing, Amp that up with a little extra mustard and garlic, mm -hmm. and you've got a beautiful marinade for some chicken. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so thrilled. <laughs> Guys, I loved coming to your kitchen. Also, beautiful kitchen. Thank you. Yes, Ryan <laughs> built the kitchen, so no big deal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, it was so amazing meeting you guys. And as a thank you, for letting me crash your kitchen and to help you stock up your fridge and pantry with everything you might need. Thanks to Walmart, we're sending you home with a $500 gift card <laughs> to get anything you So much fun with you. Also, Janet, Janetsville, Ontario, what a what is a light. Oh, yeah. It was beautiful. We think so. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you both so, so much. Thank you. If you have a question for me or you're in need of help in the kitchen, send me an email at the address below. We'd love to hear from you. We'll have to take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Tomorrow on The Good Stuff, take your wardrobe from summer to fall without breaking the bank. So I love a deal on a purse because I want my money in it, <laughs> not spent on it, you know? Then, skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. Canadian legends Sharon, Bram, and Randy join me in the kitchen to make their most iconic snack. How could we not make PB and J sandwiches, am I right? Plus, Jump into the wild as I meet all kinds of exotic animals, including literally the softest animal in the world. <gasps> not crazy. Oh, uh, you do not understand how soft <laughs> this is. The good stuff is all new tomorrow. 
Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.